it is definitely known that further maths is one of the hardest a levels you can take so is it really worth taking it i mean you have to do maths and also further maths so isn't that just more maths my name is kieran and in this video i'm going to help you decide on whether you should take further maths a level or you should leave it so let's get straight to it First, I'm going to give you reasons to taking Further Maths A-Level. The name Further Maths A-Level holds so much away. I don't know what it is about that name, but it just screams intelligent. If you're taking this A-Level and you do very, very well in, it will look so, so sick on your CV. People looking at your CV, seeing you did Further Maths, and not only did Further Maths, but you got a decent grade in it, it's sick. <laughs> it's really good. Also, one thing to mention, if you take Further Maths A-Level on, you have to take A-Level Maths alongside it, which means it will make your A-Level Maths experience way easier. The A-levels I took were maths, further maths, physics and computer science and in my further maths syllabus we had some mechanics topics and these mechanics topics helped me so so much in physics A-level. Further maths actually helped with my maths and my physics experience overall. Further maths is basically advanced maths so there is a decent step from A-level maths however I just found A-level maths so much easier. We were ahead of the class Further maths students were literally sitting at the back of the class and do, getting on with their own work because they were already ahead of the class. So we were able to just get on with our own work. So ultimately just makes A-level math so much easier. Right now, I'm not an A-level student. I actually study electrical engineering at university. And in the first year of electrical engineering, we look at a lot of complex numbers and deal with a lot of differential equations. And these are topics that are only covered in Further Maths A-Level. And because I did Further Maths A-Level, I was actually put at a slight advantage during first year. And what I did notice is people who didn't take Further Maths had to do a decent amount of grinding to make sure they understood the concepts that they were getting taught. Not to say that they struggled at all, not to say that they found it a hard experience, just that they had to put in more effort because they didn't learn it during the A-levels. But because I did further maths, I didn't have to do that. <laughs> Overall, further maths looks at so much algebra and makes you so used to algebra to the point where the hardest question is just a normal question, like a, just a regular question. And you just acquire so many mathematical skills in further maths that you'll use throughout your whole entire life. Just making you better at algebra manipulation, making you so much better with calculus, which didn't just help me for A-levels, but also helps me for electrical engineering. And that I'd say are the benefits to choosing further maths A-level. Now, when choosing further maths A-level, there are things that you need to consider. And I'm gonna go through that now. <laughs> just like I said at the beginning of this video, further maths is known as one of the hardest A-levels that you can possibly take. And the name further maths itself Although it sounds intelligent, also sounds intimidating. I remember when I was in year 11 hearing that name Further Maths, I was like, only the people who are like the elite, <laughs> the most elite students, you know, could take this A-level and can actually like thrive in it. I remember hearing that name Further Maths and that name itself just threw me off because I automatically I was just like, this is an impossible A-level, which isn't actually the case. I'm not going to lie. Further maths A-level is just like any other A-level. There's easy parts to it and there's difficult parts to it. It's so funny because I actually found A-level physics harder than further maths. So I wouldn't even say it's the hardest A-level you can possibly take. However, that's not to say further maths is easy by any means. Like I said, there were easy parts and there were difficult parts to it. Also note that if you choose further maths A-level, two of your A-level options are mathematical options. So if you wanted to choose three A-levels, maths, further maths, then one other is the only one that isn't to do with maths. I hope that made sense. It made sense in my head at least. Basically, if you choose further maths, it makes your options less diverse. And ultimately, if you don't exactly know what degree you want to take. The rule of thumb is make sure your A-level combination is as diverse as possible so then you can go into many different fields. But by choosing further maths, you're choosing maths and further maths. And that in itself, two thirds of your options are mathematical. Alternatively, you can do what I did and choose four A-levels, making your options more diverse with further maths being one of your A-level subjects. In fact, that's what a lot of schools recommend. They say if you're choosing further maths A-level, to choose four A-levels, including further maths. But yeah, that's just something to note. Right, so I have given you the benefits and I've also given you the things that you should consider taking it. So, so you can call them drawbacks. Now, the decision on whether you should take further maths A-level is all up to you. I've given you the benefits, I've given you the drawbacks, and I'm also gonna give you a conclusion. If you're in a situation where you know you wanna do a mathematical degree at university, whether that be mathematics, engineering, accounting and finance, economics, computer science, anything like that, if you're quite certain that you wanna do that or you wanna do something mathematical at university, not only that, but you wanna do it at a competitive uni, 
and you also have an interest in maths, then I suggest taking further maths on. I, I definitely suggest giving it a try at least. Just because although it is a challenging A-level, there's so many benefits and you learn so much from it and it helps you so much with your university degree. I can say from my experience, I'm so glad I took on further maths A-level. I remember doing it year 12 and the first few lessons were one of the hardest lessons in further maths. I was so confused with what was going on, but Afterwards, after a few months later, I found the lessons easier and easier and easier. Further maths is one of those ones where you just need to just give it time and then it'll sink into your brain. <laughs> and then eventually with hard work, you'll get it. If you're in a situation where you can choose four A-levels and you don't know whether to choose further maths or not, I say just choose it. Choose it for now and you can always drop it later. But just note that the first few lessons can get very challenging and don't think that further maths will be like that the entire way through. Like I said, through my experience, things just got easier. So you just gotta give it time. <laughs> One thing is for certain, whether you're deciding to choose further maths A-level or not, look at the university that you want to go to and search up the A-level requirements for the course that you wanna do. So for instance, I'm doing electrical engineering at UCL. So I'd go on the UCL website and I'd type in electrical engineering A-level requirements and see exactly what I need to do and see exactly what I need to take in order to get through. If your course is very mathematical and it's at a very competitive uni, then it's most likely that you will need to take further maths. So that's why I'm telling you to do your research to help you know whether you should take further maths on or not. I'll say this as well. Further maths A-level was so much easier than I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be impossible. I thought, I didn't know if I'd be able to pass. Um, I just chose it because I just wanted to give it a try. But trust me, further maths A-level is not impossible. Don't get put off by the name. Don't get put off by people who choose that subject. Only focus on you choosing that A-level. And, and yeah, I have made a video on how to get an A-star for further maths A-level. So if you are considering taking on that A-level, then watch that video and follow the tips. And hopefully you should be on track to getting a top grade for A-level bird maps, which will look amazing on your CV. But yeah, that's it for this video. If you have enjoyed this video or found it useful, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of the video, obviously like I just said, and please stay tuned for more videos coming out later. All right, God bless you all. Stay safe, stay hydrated and peace.